Welcome back to the Hosscast. Today I'm joined by... Oh, I'm Nolan Hellman. <laughs> Liv Pock. And Scott Craddy. And today we're going to be talking about the Mamma Mia aftermath a little bit. So, right now I'm joined by the main three people. Not the main three. I'm well, not one of the main three. I'm sorry. I hate to break well, it to you. Scott Craddy is not one of the main three. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You're filling. I substituted. I, I filled in for the other main You're one. You're one of the main three dads. Yeah. One of the main three dads, yeah. Of the three. Of the three. Dads. I'm like the least important <laughs> character of the leads. I'm like the least important lead. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. But uh, we have Nolan Hellman who played Sam Carmichael, Liv Pock who played Donna Sheridan, and Scott Caretti who played Bill Austin, I believe. Yes, and let's not forget, we have Chase Sober. Oh, like yeah. Father Alexandrios. Oh, yeah. Father Alexandrios. Of course, of course, our host you can never himself. forget. Mm-hmm. You have my favorite line. The oh, second yeah. favorite line. Yeah. yeah. Oh, right wow. after, uh, he is so tragic. That's the great. That's, yeah. yeah. It's a good one. <laughs> All right, so I have a few questions for you guys, and I want you to honestly answer them. So, since Mama, since Mama Mia has ended, how do the three of you guys feel? Like, how do you feel? Oh, we start, we start with me. Is that the circle we're going? Yeah, yeah. sure. Cool. Uh, I'm not too happy about it. I mean, it was it's great to finally have a finished project. Yeah. Like a, a, yes. a finished, nice conclusion to what we've been working towards for three months. But mm-hmm. also real darn sad about it. Yeah. Yeah. Liv? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Mamma Mia is a, it's a party. So three months straight, we're just partying and, you know, having a good time all together. And it was just kind of abruptly ended after like the biggest party of them all which was yeah the three yeah. shows so you know i mean it's definitely there's definitely some withdrawal there but um yeah it was a great time it's like those were the greatest three months of my life and now it's like i have so much free time now it's like disgusting <laughs> i don't want that i want to be busy having fun but fun that i'm forced to have yeah <laughs> i want mandatory fun yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, state mandated fun like i agree with all you guys i'm glad like, I'm glad that it ended, but I'm also sad that it ended. Mm-hmm. Like, it, it ended, like, completely abruptly. Happy sad. Yeah. That's what, Happy been, sad. that's what they've been calling it. Yeah. So, how's working with the pit and crew for everyone? Oh, I love I love the pit. The pit was great. I was very pleasantly surprised when we walked into that first day of rehearsal with them. Yes. Yeah. I, w- I was fully expecting it to be like, okay, the pit's going to be really rusty. Like, I was prepared... <laughs> To really have to work up to the final product, but I mean, the entire pit is just extremely talented musicians. Yeah. So they knocked it out of the park almost mm-hmm. on day one, and it was it was so nice to finally sing with them. Yes. Yeah. yeah. They, I mean, they adjusted to everything that we could have possibly asked them to do, and then along with that stage crew it was just so great. I mean, they, they, they really the show could not have happened without them. Yeah. So. Yeah, every single thing that we would need, a prop, a table, you know, whatever it may be, they were on, on top of it. So, Yeah, yeah. Uh, stage crew was very helpful with retaping my mic because it, <laughs> yes. it kept coming undone after every scene. And that's why uh, in the, the recording of the show, or maybe if you just saw it, uh, my neck was always very slanted, and that's because the tape would not stick to my skin. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, like, like I said in the uh, Mamma Mia Tech Week, if we didn't have a stage crew at all, we would not have a show. We would not have like a finished product. They were infinitely useful. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They were, they were very useful. Yeah. All right. So the next question is, how did musical affect your work life and school life? <laughs> what work life? <laughs> <laughs> what, what school life? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I am so behind in so many classes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I am, uh, it's bad. I, I can understand that. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean... The vast majority of my teachers were super understanding yes, about it. Yes, supportive yeah. and, you know. Yeah. yeah. This this past, like, three weeks of, like, immediately going from tech week to Liv and I were at state chorus. Yeah. Like, yeah. I was at school, like, two out of, like, yeah, it was ten days. Very <laughs> was, minimal. Yeah. So my teachers have all been very, very, like, accepting of the fact that, like, hey, just take it easy. Mm-hmm. You, yeah. You'll get there. And Take it easy. Oh. Better, Better slow, slow down, down, boy. That's There's no way, way to go. He's going to break out into musical <laughs> podcast. Absolutely, absolutely. What about you, Liv? <clears throat> what about me? Yeah. Um, you know, during during the show and practices, I would try to stay caught up on my schoolwork, and you know, I think I did a decent job. But I think we could all agree that going to practices was just a nice little escape from all of yeah. that. So you know, 
Whether that's like good or bad, I don't know, but I definitely am like still, purchase, still they were behind. Like, they're like five hours long. Yeah, yeah. Every Saturday would be five to six hours. So, like but that was, was the best part, though. It's great. Yeah, yeah, I'm so glad it was five, five, six, mm-hmm. like five hours, because I don't know what I would have been doing in, in those five hours at no. home. And like, you know, my work life, as I previously stated, does not exist. <laughs> I don't do anything, and <laughs> all my teachers think, "Oh, you're not doing your schoolwork. It's because you're caught up. You're all caught up with musical." No, I'm just lazy. <laughs> I'm the laziest person. <laughs> but it's, is it all that all work for you, buddy? <laughs> yeah, I have not done. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Paul. <laughs> it had to be done. Yeah. <laughs> but um, what was your favorite memory in the musical, though? Like, there's so many moments. All the inside jokes. There's so you know, many incidents. The whole cast is just, you know, we have, we have a group chat, and it's just, it's really special just seeing how we all, like, came together. I think that really happened during Tech Week. We, yeah. We really bonded, and... You know, I think I'd have to say probably one of my favorite memories was opening night. Like, I just went around and, like, hugged every single person that I could, like, find, whether it was stage crew, ensemble, somebody that I hadn't even, like, spoken with. It was just, it was really special. I don't know. Yeah. That bond. Oh. Yeah, as as a recipient of a live hug. <laughs> she went, it was everyone. Every single person. There was, like, a line. But I, I almost agree. Like, that first yeah. opening night was so great. Just, like. None of us yeah. knew what to expect. Right. So we're yeah. we're backstage singing Having, the backup yeah. vocals and we're like acting and acting it out. And it was Having that audience feedback too was just so like irreplaceable. Like yeah. we could not have practiced, you know, the audience's laughs timing that out. It was just it's so great just feeding off the energy there. Yeah. Scott? yeah. Also as a recipient of a live hug. <laughs> uh, I actually so multiple mul- <laughs> multiple <laughs> live hugs. <laughs> Yeah, she was definitely hugging a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. uh, I think definitely, even though like a lot of like jokes that we had, like, oh, Nolan, you have two sons. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, that's a classic one. I still think the, the, the memory I'll never forget was during uh, right before the last show during the, the senior honoration. I, and I looked down at that, that frame picture they gave me. I just started crying. Oh. <laughs> I, I agree with Scott. And because like... of, uh, hold on, story time. Oh, because yeah. of that crying, my nose got kind of runny. <laughs> And, and during, during our, our first scene as the dads, we have to stand still for like two minutes straight. Well, while Liv sings her heart out. And, yeah, while Liv sings her heart out. And my nose was running the whole time. And I, after we, we exited, I went and I wiped off my face. It was disgusting. Okay. Oh, yeah, it was the worst. The I saw it happen yeah. in real time. It yeah. Was... yeah, I agree with that. Entire those. slime layer. Okay. <laughs> Next question. I agree with Scott, <laughs> we're, but, um, we're cutting this. Yeah. Like not making the final. Absolutely not. We are absolutely yeah. not cutting this. We're, we're cutting. I don't know. We're cutting this not bit. But um, <laughs> I do agree with Scott. Like whenever like the seniors got honorated for that, over on by my desk, right over there, I actually have my signed photo from the cast. You can't oh. see it. You can't see it. You can't see it. There. But it's like it's that's not a, a visual of... podcast. Oh, yeah, hold on. Wait. You oh yeah, you, you can hear the picture up to the I'm putting the picture up to the mic. Trust that it's here. Trust that it's there. Yeah. Yep. You enjoy that? <laughs> <laughs> 10 out of 10 quality content. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so how many times did you guys have to redo a scene? Like, during Tech Week? Oh, I mean, quite a bit. I mean, we ran through yeah. the majority of the show well. But every once in a while, especially less so scenes, more so songs. And cues. And cues yeah. with... Right. Whether the yeah. pit is like Say doing the cue. I do. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was rough. The SOS between yeah. you and I live. Mm-hmm. Thank you for the music was Thank rough the, the first music. few days too. Yeah, those rough. first few days are always I feel like rough. Yeah. But I think it concerned just about the entire cast. But that's kind of what happens. You like you get there on the first day of Tech Week and it's not together at all, and everyone mm-hmm. panics for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> like I definitely agree with like some of the songs we weren't really sure about. But, well, like, the first time whenever Candace said, like, we actually did good at, like, the wedding scene. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was, it was, yeah. It was great. We made, like, a huge improvement. Nice, oh, nice yeah. Feeling. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. So, what was your first reaction when you found out you get to play the characters you played? Oh, boy. I remember. I remember what happened. <laughs> I remember. So, what happened. you know, I, before this, I had never seen Mamma Mia at all. So, uh, I went home and I went to bed after auditions and I woke up the next morning to a text from uh, Macy Lorgan who plays Tanya and she said 
hey, congratulations, you got the role of Bill Austin. Mm-hmm. And my response was, okay. Yeah, and so in, uh, I'll, I'll elaborate a little bit on that. So later on that day, um, Scott Nolan and I had a class together called Creative Writing. And um, Scott came in and, you know, was – we we're talking about it, you know, congrats, we're going to be doing this together for the next four months. And Scott's like, you know what, I just don't know if I can do it. I don't, I don't think I can the dedicate my life. Like, the laziness. I don't know if I can dedicate this much time to something like this. And yeah, we were like, come on, Scott, I just gotta, do listen, it. Listen, listen, I have to play Lego Star Wars for the yeah, 1800th well, yeah. time. Yeah, I know. Some things are more important. <laughs> you, you got, you got. But I squeezed it both. I squeezed them both. Made time. You got very close to, to quitting this musical. The first, yeah. I, the first, the first week. week. Yeah, I was like, very close. I don't know. I think I got to talk to Mrs. Hillis and say mm-hmm. I can't do it. I'm like, don't. You know what kept yes. me? You know what kept me? Hmm. I wanted Jack, uh, Jack Valsek and Isaiah Brown to come out of their shells. That's mm-hmm. that is why I kept coming back because I wanted yeah. them to do good. That That's really sweet. That was yeah. It's very very selfless of yeah. you, Scott. Yeah. What about you, Nolan? Um, I mean it. It was the role I auditioned for, and I was, there was, yes. like, there was actually some nerves there. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I got there, and obviously, like, Scott put in a, a very good audition for someone that has never touched a musical before. Yeah. And, like, I was like, oh, I, I hope I get this part. And I, I when I got the text, or the remind from Hillis being like, oh, here are the parts, I was happy about it. Mm-hmm. It was, it's what, it's what I was excited. Yeah. yeah, I think we can all agree that it was... The show was just extremely well cast, and that's just kudos to our directors. Yeah. And you know, whenever I found out I got Donna, it was like a dream. I don't know, because I—I mean, that's who I auditioned for, like Nolan said. And you know, yeah, it was whenever, just a great, fun character. To whenever play, I to got play. the role of a uh, Father Ex- yeah. Alexandrius, <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea what was going on through my mind at first. Mm. Like, uh, then like I started like doing some background checks, and I realized he's Catholic. <laughs> yeah, I am not Catholic at all. <laughs> awesome, <laughs> and. <laughs> Like with the many parts of the musical, I was a priest. Before the priest, I was a bartender. Yeah, Father Father Alexander has took on many forms. <laughs> yeah, he's a workaholic. He's behind the workaholic, bar. Yeah. He's, workaholic. he's behind the bar. He's behind the altar. You never yeah. could. You never know. <laughs> you never <see> me. <laughs> he's behind exactly everything. Exactly the name yeah. you yeah, pretty yeah. much. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's, he's the mastermind. Do you think that musical this year was one of the best since the very first Ooh. musical? At AHS. Oh, absolutely. I, yeah. A million percent. I mean, no offense. <laughs> I can obviously. say, hold on. I can say without, con- or like with confidence, without a hesitation, that this is the best musical that I've ever been in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can also say that. Yeah. Like looking through like a, like High School Musical was the first one that I ever, that I've ever been a part of the cast. Mm-hmm. It, it seemed like it had like some energy, but not a whole bunch. Like, yes, we were a family, but at the same time, we didn't have, like, that energy that we had mm. now. Yeah. I, I absolutely think it's the best musical that AHS yeah. has ever oh, done. Oh, for sure. And, I mean, to bounce back with, you know, two years off with, with a show like this is just incredible. Yeah. And it's gotten so much positive feedback from the community. It's yeah. really Granted, AHS has done, what, five total musicals? Right. Performed, five. I think, less than that. Yeah. <laughs> Would be six, but due to COVID. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. But um, the next question is this: If you could do Mamma Mia again, would you do it? Yes, hundred yeah. percent. Sure. Yes. I don't even oh my gosh. Bef- like right not even tonight. in a heartbeat. <laughs> not even in a heartbeat. Before the heartbeats, yeah. I would decide yes. I would run. I would run the show in five minutes if you gave me a, oh my a gosh. stage. Yeah. yeah. So absolutely. For everyone else, and everyone else has their own opinions. Did you guys feel like the cast and crew were a family? Hmm. Yeah. I, I didn't I, say so, but not until the end. I was gonna say it really, really escalated during Tech Week, just because you know, you realize how dependent you really are on each other. Like, yeah. you know, you need to be in the right spot so that I can say my line to you here, and you know, it's it's just really cool. Yeah, you know, I mean, like, you really special. That's you when have, the magic happens. Yeah, you were able to hook us up with uh, someone from Broadway too. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I hooked it up, but. Eh, I mean, you had a part. Blood relative. I mean, blood relative. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's oh, she's so great. She is. Who we're talking about is my aunt. I, <laughs> d- I that wasn't really clarified, but yeah. WWMPD. <laughs> what would Michelle Pock do? Well, <laughs> <laughs> but and that was around that time was when even like Mr. Canish like talked to me and Liv, yes. like that he pulled us aside and was like, "Hey, this cast is not Michelleing like right like previous casts have and." Mm-hmm. Honestly, I think when Michelle Pock came, yeah. it was easily the most connected and together I 
have seen the cast. Yeah. And then we had about two more, three more weeks till the show. And that, like mm-hmm. Liv said, that last tech week, tech week just brought us all together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. The, the first two months, there were very clear cut friend groups within the, the mm-hmm. cast right, itself. Right, it didn't, and, you know. didn't really associate with each other much. Yeah. But by the end, we were just oh. about as meshed as a cast can be, yeah. I'd say. All right, so what was the worst thing in musical? Like, Ooh. worst parts? I had to act with Olivia Pop okay. for quite a bit. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I had to say like, I had to say like two <laughs> lines to her. That's disgusting. Uh, too much. She too can't much even like. Talking. Sorry, she can't guys. even sing that well. I should have been Donna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Scott. I was nervous at Scott after he went into auditions and sang Gary's song. <laughs> Gary, Gary, come oh, home. Gary come home. <laughs> yeah. He was going to take the part. No, um, the worst part, I don't even know if I could find one. I don't know. Looking back on it, if you would have asked us that question, say, month two of this show, oh my we could have given you a million answers. Yeah. It's, it's so easy to be critical and, right. and to complain about something that is happening around you mm-hmm. right now. It, but I think right now, I think the entire cast is in this state of, God, I miss this show. Yeah. So looking back on it, it's so hard to find anything that would like steer us away from wanting mm-hmm. to do it. The uh, like the one thing I could see it like was definitely like the worst parts. And during like the show two, don't get me wrong, the show two was was good, but it wasn't as good as the first and last show. Like we had some problems with stage crew taking stuff off. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. I was I was pretty not I only heard about I it. I was pretty, yeah, I was not present. To uh, yeah, any, like, ne- neither was yeah. I. I was so focused on being clothed by the yeah, time I'm so back on lot stage. A lot of quick I changes. In saw, the I heard nothing and saw nothing of any, anything that went on besides what was happening on Same. stage. Uh, the worst part what was for me is definitely not get, getting uh, mic'd up, only because I had to save my voice. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. As did I had to save my voice so I couldn't sing most of the songs where the basses or well baritones mm. mainly needed it. Yeah. Yeah. So Oh, I guess that I, okay, I guess I do have kind of a bad part, but it doesn't have to do with the actual show itself, but the entire tech week yeah. I was I was sick. Like I was I was really pretty sick and like, kept it like, came Thursday night and I lost my voice, so I mean that set me into just a that, complete state sick. of panic. <laughs> So yeah, that would have that was the worst part yeah. for me. But it, again, has nothing to do with the show itself. Yeah. So what was it like with the mics and stunts Ooh. for you guys? I hate the mics. <laughs> they are the worst. They were the worst part. The one thing that I will a hundred percent not like that I won't miss is getting that mic tape ripped off oh. every after every scene. I think because my, I needed re after is every scene. Still sticky. Like it uh, mics. That, were yeah. cool to have. Yeah, I mean, it makes you feel like. I yeah. I definitely caught myself, like, during like Tech Week, yelling all my lines because I'm mm. used to like really projecting my lines because I wasn't mic'd. Right. But yeah. with mics on, I was I was definitely able to like feel the lines a lot more, less mm-hmm. yelling. But That's God, did they hurt to take off? <laughs> yeah. And uh, Liv, you did some you did some stunts in. Yeah, I mean, nothing you, you compared to. Stunt. I would oh, say Hannah so. Hannah, 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 had, Hannah, had, Hannah had, had that stunts. fantastic under attack scene yeah. there. Um, you know, but I got I did get lifted in money, money, money. And, you got lifted in. You know, like, which that was new like, for me. You had to like was, depend on the people to like oh, yeah. hold you down. And I mean, while you were moving out of oh god, probably the five hundred plus times they lifted me throughout the se- the musical like season and practices. I they never once dropped me. And it was just you know. Yeah. I, I mean I completely trusted them every night. But yeah, it was um, really special. Like I said with uh like the worst thing in musical, the mics, that was my issue. Mm-hmm. Um for the stunts, I was legit terrified of either dropping Hannah <laughs> <laughs> in yeah. under attack. Um Yeah. Like we've been on the ground level of lifting some people. And I am not nearly as strong as the football players that lifted Liv, <laughs> and it was it was a little sketchy at times. Yeah. See, I'm always I'm always the guy that gets lifted. <laughs> yeah. At Powder Puff, I was the flyer. Yeah, that was a great time. Yeah, like a uh, one of the other stunts that I liked were uh, 
Does Your Mother Know? Mm, really cool. Like the uh, little dance dance break scene. And of course, Under Attack. Thank you. So, now for everyone, what was your favorite moment in mm-hmm. musical? Mm-hmm. Like, like favorite scene? Like favorite in moment show? in the show at all. Like oh, from wor- from day one of oh. so, like, practice, practice? Oh, man. to, hard. <clears throat> to <clears throat> Friday night show. Well, if you want to include demo day, then. Oh, that's not yeah, we won't. That yeah. was the worst That was day. the worst. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, huh. Uh, I think kind of like I said earlier, the hug thing, just really, I hold that. I hold that those those five minutes before that first show like you, really you close hold, to my like, heart. You hold the memories with yeah. it. Everyone you hug is <laughs> really close to your yeah, heart. Yeah. That's how hugs work. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's how they work. <laughs> <laughs> but how um, they work, Liv. Why don't you understand that? Okay. I don't know. I don't know. There, there are so many things that are like running through my head, like videos that we like took yeah. in the moment that are like yeah. playing <laughs> in my mind. Putting putting our our sparkly costumes on for the first time, I think, was a fun That's one. It. That's it. That's the one. I think That's my was, favorite memory. Yeah, and getting that picture. And getting that picture, That's just because it like looking at looking at pictures, you know, it just you know, it takes you right back to that time, and it's it was. So I'm gonna put the picture up. <laughs> Scott's gonna, Scott's yeah. gonna show it. Here, listen to the picture. <clears throat> yeah, is this enjoyable? Not yeah. even the costumes we ended up wearing. Yeah, no, yeah. but I mean, it just made it feel like, oh, like this is so real. This one like, felt like, this like that's like the idea wow, of like is, what yeah. you're gonna be wearing. Mm-hmm. But um, luckily, luckily for you guys, like your costumes were custom made. Yes, they were. My favorite moment would always be her score. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, hooking it up to the uh, speaker. <laughs> so we should have bought Pillis a new Bluetooth speaker. New speaker. No, we don't. We need one. It Bluetooth is, no, right. is ready it. to pair. We got through it. Indiscernible accent. Indiscernible accents. Um, Can't understand anything. Pure gibberish. <laughs> Pretty much. So it's like when Liv talks. <laughs> what is going on? Okay, Next so, question, please. <laughs> <laughs> so one by one, I want to ask you guys this: If you were to give advice to the younger classmen who wants to act, what would it be? Do it. Do it. And don't be afraid to come out of your comfort zone. Oh, yeah. I tr- trust me, it will pay off and people will love it. All that matters when you're on that stage is confidence. It doesn't matter how good you do. As long as you, you are living it up up there, people will love you. Yeah. I promise you that. I don't think I can really yeah. even build off of that. Follow that, Liv. Go I ahead. don't think like, I can. <laughs> um, gosh, yeah. I mean, I... Seeing everybody, I mean, as the people they were before this show began and just how everybody, you know, has came out of their shell, whether it was in the actual show on stage, whenever the football players ran out in sparkly costumes and danced to ABBA. Yeah. Like, it's just, it's so, it's so fantastic just seeing everybody, you know, not care about what anybody has to, to say about it. And yeah, it was like, um, a huge success. You don't with Scott, like, Phoenix... Like he may not be like the best singer, but he's we still, love you, Phoenix. We love we you, love Phoenix. you. We love you, Doug. We love you, Doug. <laughs> we love you, Doug and Itis. But he may not be the best, but he tried his best, and his best was really good. It was. Really? His best was amazing. Everybody's it was so best was so good, and that's what made the show so good. We we had such we were lucky enough to have a, an amazing cast. Yeah, not even just leads. Like no, oh my gosh. I, I we also have had amazingly brilliantly talented leads this year, but just. Especially Scott Craddy. He's especially, really good. Especially Scott Craddy. Definitely not Liv Pock, though. <laughs> <laughs> She's the worst. I didn't say that. I mean, that I, Scott. I have to get to Zay Brown, though, <laughs> to be honest. Oh. I, I, everyone in the show, ensemble and all, was just so great. Jack Valasek has a great future. He does. <laughs> he does. He does. If he pers- I can tell. The way he acts up there, like, he, he may, like when he's off stage, he might be like, oh, I, hated, I hate doing this. I mean, he's not anymore. He's come around. But... You can tell up there he's having the time of his life, and he's loving it, and he has a great voice, and he's a pr- pretty solid actor, too. I'm so excited to see what he does in the next two years, because he's only a sophomore. As, as the only junior sitting at this table, <laughs> I, as the underclassman being given advice, I yeah. would also like to encourage anyone to do the musical next year with me. I, <laughs> I'm so excited for it, because it's going to be my senior year, right? and I, I wanted to make it as yeah, the best as it can be, and I, yeah. I'm like so excited for it already. So this question isn't on the list, but I want to ask this: If we didn't have the senior class in the musical, what would you guys think? Like, what would you, 
gosh. What would you think? Like, of? if we had to do this musical without the seniors, yeah, well, we couldn't have. No Liv, no Donna, no. Those are the same person. <laughs> no, no, no Donna. I am no both. Belle, no Tanya. Yeah. No Father no. Alexander. I mean, our leads were just comprised of upperclassmen, which. Yeah. Is how musical. Yeah, it's usually, how it usually works. But. but. Oh, I, like I, I, I just couldn't imagine it without you guys. Yeah. Oh. No. You guys are just. I don't know. I could imagine it without Liv. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> wow, wow, we're, I was we're gonna going to be sappy for a little bit. I was yeah, gonna, like seriously. talking about how like you guys have like, grown to be like. Here's one no of my one best like friends, being like, sappy than there's Scott going after Liv. <laughs> Scott just for the throat. Uh, <laughs> to finish, to finish my sap, sappy statement, like yeah. I don't know you, you seniors especially, like I, I don't know you guys have like become like some of my closest uh, friends. I love you all. Yeah. I love very you dearly. Love you too. <laughs> all right, so. The last question is this. What was it like during Demo Day? I knew it was coming. I saved it I last. Feel like I sent you the list of questions. <laughs> That's I, right. I saved it last I for a reason. <laughs> because, like, it's... I don't like, want to start because that we I ever don't done. have many good things to say about that day. Was... Liv woke up about two hours late. <laughs> was about two hours late to I, Demo Day. Yeah. Because... And demo late. day began at one for yeah. context, <laughs> and I was late because I I couldn't fall night. asleep the night before. Just you know, off I was I had feeding off. The yeah, show. it was the last show. So um, coming in after the, the last party. show, the cast party, um, and just coming in and ripping apart the set. I'm gonna get teared up talking about it just because it was so yeah. brutal. Um, you know, just it's kind of it's kind of more for closure than anything I would say, but. I did not have a good time. <laughs> I had an all right time. Well, you guys were able to at least keep your suits, like costumes. Yes. Yeah. I kept so a few other say, things too, but I'm not going to disclose it. I, also, I, also, I, also I took sorry. my hat. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> I, well, I, I, mean, it's, I snuck saw a freaking curtain hat. from the Tavarna, so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I snuck a parrot hat. I, 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 thought, I thought she'd grab the parrot hat. Uh, I don't know. I, I remember extremely well that last... Like, you know, uh, strike the set day. I remember it wasn't that bad for me. I don't think I cried more than twice. Um, but <laughs> can't say Liv, Liv's giving me a look like that is not the case for her. No, I wasn't. cried a lot that day. Everyone too. knows too. It's yeah, okay. it was. I remember my one of my favorite show memories happened that day, and it was just went into like the guys' like dressing room and. No one had taken any of their clothes yet. There's clothes strewn on the floor, uh, like costumes everywhere, shoes everywhere, bags on chairs, Phoenix's giant cardboard promposal <laughs> to our choreographer was like sitting on the table. <laughs> and it was and I, there was there was classical music playing from the piano. We have a, we had like there was a keyboard in there. Multiple but like John keyboards. Yancey set to play like on loop different classical music. I sat in there and just kind of took it in. Just the last time I'd ever see those, like the the clothing rack with all our costumes and Phoenix's prom pose mm -hmm. on the floor and the classical music playing just enough to make it like feel like a movie. And I was just yeah. sat there for a minute. And oh, just, it did. I, it felt like a movie for yeah, sure. I, think, I mean, actually, even. I think I do know what my favorite memory was, and it was from Demo Day. It was. It was when Nolan, you were playing the piano, and Liv was singing "Slipping Through My Fingers" oh, while crying. No, that yeah, that's that's one of my that, favorites that, too, and I have it on video, which I was so grateful for. I was so far gone in terms of. <laughs> I was, I was bawling. Nothing saving you there. No, uh, gosh. Well, the one photo, and I hold, <laughs> I do hold it dear to my heart. Um, it is like after mm. the set destroyed. Yeah. I took a photo of everyone. That was a nice picture. That was a great Like, picture. I took a photo of everyone. I was a mess in that picture. Crying. We all were. It was we all were. Yeah. Yeah. That time I was sick, and I was trying not to, like, <laughs> just get, get through. All of us were exhausted as well. It was, it was a day full of many emotions. Yeah. yeah. Most of them not fun. But, I mean... That was that was your sense of pleasure, bittersweet, right though, there. knowing that you know you did something so awesome together. Yeah, and, yeah. You know. the feeling of knowing you did something really important mm -hmm. well, to the school and to you. Well, it's like that last show day, it's like it was so like I gave it my all, but it was just there was that, just that sense of dread. Like it felt like I just learned when I was going to die. 
Like that's really what it felt like. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Not as morbid. As not as I not as morbid. morbid. That's, just the, that's <laughs> the only and like analogy I could think of. Like the yeah. sub, someone with like a same. I, I know what you mean. Like a very. I do too. M- melancholy feeling, but like you know exactly. Oh, quoting what slipping through my fingers right now. Live, <laughs> shut not up. The time. Live, shut up, please. <laughs> well, Liv, please stop talking forever. Right, I would I'm appreciate done. that. Oh. It's been so much fun. All Bye. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Signing right. off. Well, yeah. this has been the Hawks cast so far. See you guys next time. <laughs>